Hello, I'm Malcolm McLeod and I was a member of the working group that developed the Equipped Quality System. Our quality system is meant to su provide support for scientists in various roles, as well as quality professionals working at research institutions of different types and, uh, and of different sizes. Over three separate presentations, we will discuss why one would need a quality system, what is quality indeed, what is a system, and whether one should think about a benefit-harm ratio for a quality system. Then we'll explain what the equipped quality system is about and what steps can be taken to implement the system. So let's start with the why question. Why would I need a quality system? We've all known for many years that questionable research practices aren't uncommon. Things like p-hacking, selective publication, poor documentation of methods and results, bias study designs and so on. We've known about these, but we haven't dealt with them. And recently, attitudes to these questionable research practices started to change because we got several wake-up calls, calls that we simply couldn't ignore. Firstly, meta-research revealed the extent and impact of such questionable practices, and as a result, ethical concerns about wasted and misused resources called for immediate action in certain areas of research, such as animal research. Reduced productivity in drug R&D may have multiple causes, but robustness of preclinical data is one of the few that can be handled now. And last but not least, questionable research practices became part of a research integrity agenda. Recommendations made by research integrity experts are no longer limited to outright fraud, but increasingly touch on topics that have always previously been considered the focus of the good research practice community. And equipped is a concerted, community-driven response to address these challenges. Equipped, which originated as the European Quality and Preclinical Data Consortium, is the largest effort ever undertaken with the primary objective to improve the quality of non-regulated preclinical research. The consortium, initially founded by biopharma companies, universities, CROs and scientific associations, now includes more than 110 member organisations, advisors and stakeholders around the globe. Scientists and quality professionals with unique expertise in various aspects of good research practice took the lead and defined what quality means for preclinical research. We know there's no such thing as absolute quality. It's always relative, assessed based on our expectations and those of our colleagues, our funders, our customers, our collaborators, and thus equipped to find quality as research data being fit for their intended use, fit to support a decision-making step in the drug development process, or fit to support a decision to write up the results and submit them for publication. This approach to defining quality requires that we know about what is expected from our research before we actually conduct the experiments. Unfortunately, it's often observed that studies are planned and conducted only to learn afterwards that their quality did not meet our expectations. And the equipped quality, of definition, quality definition mandates that we change this common but undesired sequence. One should learn about quality and define quality and only then plan and execute the study. How do we achieve this? Through the use of a quality system. A quality system is a tool to coordinate and direct an organization's activities to meet quality objectives and to support efforts at continuous improvement. Organisations have most of these building blocks in, of good research practice in place, and a quality system simply allows us to put these various elements together, to align them, and to make them work well together. One might also view a quality system as some kind of a mirror that allows self-assessment, analysis of how we perform, and what needs to be changed or improved. What if the image we see in the mirror is not to our liking. It's not the mirror's fault. Perhaps we should consider making some changes. That would be better than not having a mirror and not seeing the things that we do not like. So in, in more formal language, we could think about a harm-benefit approach. It's a frequently expressed fear that a quality system reduces is a burden that reduces productivity, Productivity commonly measured in terms of publications, 
publications with positive results confirming exciting hypotheses. Introducing our quality system, no matter how lean or how user-friendly it is, is always thought to mean making changes to the most convenient route. What are the arguments in favour of a quality system? Well, better publications rather than more publications, reliable and robust results rather than only having positive results. A quality system such as the one developed by Equip supports ethical and responsible use of resources. Also, one should recognise that it mitigates the risks associated with questionable or inadequately supervised research practices, risks to reputation, risks to research integrity, and risks to the sustainability of research progress. There's many lines of argument supporting a choice in favour of a quality system in research, and many more than we have time to, to consider here. And we've put together a, a presentation that illustrates why quality matters for each of us in our different roles, no matter what that role is, whether as students, as lab heads, or even as university professors. When deciding to implement a quality system, one of the most important questions that has to be asked up front is why quality matters for us, for our, for our organisations, and for our research. Our answers to this question help define quality objectives for the organisation and, in equipped language, form the basis of the mission statement that becomes part of the quality system and that can be used to explain to our peers, our collaborators, and yes, even to our families and friends, why we spend so much time and so much effort to establish a quality, important, a quality system, why we believe that it's so important. Thank you.